In this video, we'll start with the Tabs and Pills Playground file, and we'll play with arranging our tabs and also turning them into pills and stacked pills and tabs. If you'll go to your sample files and open to edit the Tabs Pills Play.html file, we'll get started. Okay, here as you scroll down the page, come down into the main section, line 63 is where you've got a row that then we're going to kick off a div of class tabable on line 64. Tabable contains the entire contents of a set of tabs and their um, panes that rotate when we click. And so this is our area where we're working. You can see that we've got an unordered list inside of the div class tabable, and this is picked up and used to provide our tabs. Um, nav tabs is the class as well as nav on that UL and then in our LIs we've got class active to indicate the current one and we've got a link that points at the pane that's going to be activated when we click on this tab. Data toggle tab as the attribute that calls in the JavaScript to recognize this as a tab. And we repeat that as we go on down. So now this first tab is pointing at the thing of ID tabs one pane one and here's that ID down below under the tabs content div. So we close off the unordered list, open up a new div, div called tab content and this is set up as a class that Twitter Bootstrap recognizes and turns into then the content holder for our panes that rotate from one to the next as we click through. So tab pane is the class to turn in, to turn a div into a container for our content. And then we can have any content that we want in here. Images, of course, as well as text, as I have here. So we simply close off each one of those and then pick it up with the next one, setting up in each case an ID that corresponds to the tab href up above. All right, so this is what supplies the markup to make this work. We see it works just as it should. Now I'd like to turn it into pills. And that's rather easy. We just have to go up above to our nav and instead of saying nav tabs on the UL, we can say nav pills. And this will automatically supply the class that Bootstrap recognizes to change the styling so that these look like little pill buttons. They still work just like tabs, they just have different styling is the only difference. Now if you'd like to move these to the side and have your content to the right, we can do that. We can, in the place of, in this right beside the class nav pills, we can add a class nav stacked. And that's going to stack those up. And this is referenced in the documentation. I'm just walking through it with you here. And so that turns those into a stacked set of tabs. They fill up the full width of their container. So here's where we want to use a little bit of layout. And I'm going to use Bootstrap's layout. So I'm going to provide our UL of class nav, nav pills, nav stacked. I'm going to call in the layout class of span 2. And down on the tab content, I'm going to add the class of span 8. That's going to give us some room for wiggle room within our overall span 12 that's available. I'm going to refresh and now these lay out next to each other in a row so that I can use them on the side right there. Now if I'd like to use stacked tabs which look more like, well I'll show you how they look. Let's come over here and let's change these to, um, instead of nav pills, we're going to change now that to nav tabs and leave nav stacked and that will allow us to get this effect. Refresh, there you go. That's all it takes. And finally they provide an example where we can have tabs that flow over into the content pane to the right. To get that effect we can um, go up and on the div of class tabable, 
we need to change that class and add a tabs left there. And we no longer need on the UL the nav stacked class. It can go away. So remove that, save, and refresh. And now you've got tabs that flow into the content pane that's on the right. Now if you consult the documentation, they go ahead and show you that you can also put tabs on the right if you'd prefer, or put tabs at the bottom. You just need to alternate, alternate the flow of your markup and change the classes accordingly. And that's all back here at the main documentation. Go back to components and of course nav tabs and pills. Now you're set. Have some fun.